Here's the tale of the tape. First we have Manny the Senator, Pac-Man Pacquiao, with 61 wins, 7 losses, Stay tuned. 39... Mm, let's get ready to rumble! Alright, you fight fan fanatics out there, this is Bobby D coming to you from Talamban, Cebu, Philippines. And today we're going to break down the Manny the Senator Pacquiao versus Keith one time Thurman for the WBA welterweight title at the MGM Grand Las Vegas Nevada July 20th scheduled for 12 pounds here's the tale of the tape first we have Manny the Senator Pac-Man Pacquiao with 61 wins 7 losses 39 KOs Two draws, 70 total bouts, 56% KO, 5'6 height, 67 inch reach, southpaw, he's Filipino and 40 years old. Here's Keith Thurman, 29 wins, no losses, 22 KOs, no draws, 29 total bouts, 76% KO, 5'9 height, reach, 69, stance, orthodox, nationality, American, age 30. Pac-Man's won four of his last five fights, the most significant being his win over Lucas Mathisi with a TKO in July of 2018. With that win, he became the WBA regular welterweight champion. Keith One Time Thurman has won five out of his last five fights. His most notable fight was his last fight with Jose with Lopez and he barely won the fight in January. He was coming off of a long layoff due to injury and many people say he was suffering from ring rust. He's currently the WBA super welterweight champion. At the age of 40, Manny Pacquiao is still an incredible fighter. He's still beating up top fighters. He's still willing and able to take on top fighters. Manny has no problem pulling the trigger. His in and out game is still there. His ability to pull the trigger and still react is still there. And that's what usually goes first on an older fighter. That makes Manny an incredibly dangerous guy. Now size wise, Manny's a little bit underwhelmed compared to some of the welterweights that are out there. Pacquiao may have lost a step. And he slowed down a bit. But against Thurman, he's got to be a lot faster and more powerful than Thurman. Neither of the fighters faced a common opponent for Pacquiao to win this fight. He's got to pressure Thurman consistently throughout the fight. Throwing lefts and jabs and right hooks and staying in his face. And if he does that early, if he tires Thurman out, he may have a chance to win this fight. The Senator will have to be in peak condition because Thurman, much like uh, Mayweather, is a runner. If Pacquiao continues to pressure him and stays away from Thurman's jab, Pacquiao, is, this is the key for Pacquiao winning this fight. Now, as far as Keith Thurman, the only thing he has over Pacquiao is youth and height. Pacquiao has more experience over Thurman. For Thurman to win, he's got to throw stinging jabs, shorten his punches, and throw a lot of counter punches. Now, if he shortens his punches, He's going to close the distance between him and Pacquiao. And Pacquiao has short punches. And it's still lethal. Throwing counter punches means engaging Pacquiao in a slugfest. And I don't think that's something that Thurman wants to do. Because Pacquiao is one of the best toe-to-toe -to -toe brawlers in the business. So for Thurman to win this fight, he's got to throw a lot of jabs. Stinging jabs. And then short his punches. And... Run, Thurman, run, if Manny gets inside. That's what he does. Thurman's a runner. The latest figures I show Pacquiao is an underdog and Thurman has a favorite to win.
here's my pick. Pacquiao wins this fight with a split decision. I'm betting on the senator to penetrate and bridge the gap at all. One time Thurman for at least seven of the 12 rounds. Let's go, Let's go, go Senator, Senator Manny. 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 for me in the comment section of this video and as always remember to like share and subscribe this is Bobby D saying take care God bless and peace A towering presence, run like the wind, be a king or queen, life in the Philippines.